the Joe Rogan experience. Did you see this fucking thing that happened in California where this woman stabbed her boyfriend 108 times and they let her go with community service? Wait. They said that she was psychotic from smoking marijuana, See? which is... So I don't smoke. Well, by the way, I smoke. I've been smoking a long time. <laughs> I ain't never thought about stabbing one person ever. Forget about someone that you're in a relationship with 108 <laughs> times. And yeah, that's, they, that's something they, else. The judge said that the defense was that she had a psychotic break from, I think it was one hit. So I had a bad panic attack from one hit yeah you but, can have a panic yeah, attack but, from some strong especially if but, you're not a regular smoker no i wasn't was it a bong hit or a joint it was a joint what, what it was 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 it was my first time actually inhaling <laughs> <laughs> you went bill clinton the way before no That's seriously what... and i just all i remember i couldn't stop coughing oh, not realizing yeah. each cough is just sending oh, more tea yeah. to my system yeah and that was the real like that was me really smoking for the first yeah. time and let's just say, all I remember, I'm sitting on a couch, having a massive panic attack, watching Eddie Murphy Raw. Ah! <laughs> and, 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 how, ah! and how I knew I was fucked up was I've watched Raw multiple times and never have I not laughed my ass off. And I remember sitting there you watching it, and I was like, this is not funny. This is not. And I was like, oh, dude, something's out. wrong with you, dude. <laughs> like, so, so, so. You were just freaking out. Yeah, 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 you can freak out, man. Yeah. So this is the story. And it just said that this uh, New York Post said it was just really strong weed, thirty percent weed. Whatever, whatever. One hit. She stabbed her boyfriend one hundred eight times. I don't care if she took eighteen bong hits. And herself and the dog. What? Well, maybe there's something wrong with her, yeah. and she shouldn't get fucking community service. Uh, yeah. That's insane. That's and then herself. She repeatedly. stabbed her dog, and then repeated stabbed herself repeatedly after deputies were called to their apartment. Okay, after the. I mean, first of all. When people kill people, they often kill themselves. This happens to men who kill their girlfriends mm -hmm. or their ex-girlfriends. They oftentimes they'll shoot themselves. It happens all the time. She found out he was cheating. Well, whatever it was, the that whole thing is she received just two years of probation, a hundred hours of community service, and no prison time. I would believe that more if it was alcohol. It, even alcohol doesn't make any. No, I, but that's I would, what I'm saying. It would like, have to I be would... like crystal meth mixed <laughs> with tea. With, Fucking PCP, angel dust. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just, the lawyers were asked to describe the difference in her case and a fatal drunken driving crash, which Goldstein chalked up to awareness, noting that I don't know what her, how you say her name, whatever her last name is, did not know she was what she was getting herself into as Omelia provided the pot but did not show her the warning on the label. What? As far as the DUI is concerned, that person knowingly and consciously drinks to excess and decides to get behind the wheel of a car. In Mrs. whatever her name is case, she took a hit of what she believed to be a legal consumer product in the sanctity of uh, Mr. O'Malia's home as they sat on his couch with no plans to go drive home later that evening. 43 times in her neck she stabbed herself. She stabbed herself 43 times in the neck. Oh, my God. Well... That's the marks on her neck? Oh, she didn't really try that hard. Well, listen, people try to kill themselves after they kill somebody. Look, if you're, well, if you're lying there and your, your boyfriend has got 108 and stab forced, wounds and you're yeah. like, oh, my God, my life is over. I'm going to jail for the rest of my yeah. life. But why the dog? Because she's fucking <laughs> just an angry lady. I mean, I why did it, she? I think she just she... had a psychotic break, and I don't think it was the week. <sighs> Who knows? I think but she found out something she did not want to find out. It and could she be. she just snapped. But it might not be that. I mean, she might be fucking legitimately crazy. But either way, two hour or a hundred hours of community service and two years yeah, of probation is fucking yeah, nuts. I you mean, just killed somebody. Yeah. Imagine the rules reversed. Imagine <laughs> it was a man who stabbed his wife a hundred or his girlfriend a hundred and eight times He'd and then be stabbed under the dog. The jail. He'd be under the jail. Yeah. Death sentence. Experts for both the defense and the prosecution concluded the pot she smoked caused her to slip into a psychotic state. Now, here's the, th the story. You can have psychotic breaks from marijuana. Mm -hmm. It is possible. Mm -hmm. It's possible to have schizophrenic breaks from marijuana. Mm -hmm. It's well documented with certain people that have a pro yes. Yeah. So, but either way, <laughs> nobody. It doesn't make any sense. Marijuana is not a violent drug. Oh, yeah. It's not the kind of drug that makes, makes you, you want to hurt somebody. And keep in mind, I'm, this is coming from somebody who does not like marijuana yeah. at all. I don't believe that. It sounds insane. Yeah, I don't believe that. It sounds yeah, insane. I don't, yeah. There's probably a lot more to that story. Yeah, very yeah. much so. 
Very, very, very much so. She stabbed herself in the neck. Like, Jesus yeah, that's Christ. crazy. That's like, and the yeah. deputies used a stun gun on her four times, and another deputy hit her with the metal baton multiple times before knocking the knife out of her hand. While she was stabbing herself or him? I guess herself. I mean, it just didn't say who she was stabbing. But she might have started stabbing herself when the cops showed up, too. Like, who knows? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole thing is nuts. I mean, but then again, I've seen, like, I watched a video on the way up here. On the way up here. I didn't watch it. I was listening to it while I was driving on the way up here. And, like, it was this girl. I guess she was drunk or something. And the cops were trying to arrest her. And she completely lost it. I mean, screaming at the top of her lungs. Like, I mean, complete psychotic breakdown. Yeah. Just to avoid accountability of the fact that she was driving drunk. So, I mean, yeah. it's. There's some people that are out of their fucking yeah. minds. But I just don't think. Two years of probation is enough for no, that. No, I mean, that, I think that sounds that's, insane. I think that goes without saying. It I, sounds I so insane that, that the judge saying. said that. Yeah. But I, I want to see the judge. I want to talk to the judge. Oh, hold on, too. They what? were only dating for three weeks. Oh, my God. So even if you cheated on her, what yeah, the that fuck? Wouldn't, that doesn't even yeah, make sense. That wouldn't warrant that. Dating yeah. each other for about three weeks. Wow. She worked as an audiologist. What is that? Uh, oh. Sound. And the sound dude was an accountant. Maybe she stabbed him because he's boring. <laughs> it's a horrible tragedy all the way around, <laughs> Swartz said. It's a tragedy for the victim and his family. It's a tragedy for my client and her family. Yeah. Well, it's certainly a tragedy. That's no. But high potency marijuana should put you in the place where you're terrified of everything. everything you just want to yeah, exactly. Not that you have the ability to grab a knife and yeah. stab a guy 108 times. That sounds nuts. That sounds so nuts. And it said in September they'd got the murder charge dropped to involuntary manslaughter after it was determined she lost her cognitive abilities because she was in the throes of psychosis. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. But, I mean, I, I just don't think that absolves you of responsibility. You know, the, the thing about it is you, there's no way to know what was going on in her head, yeah. which is the thing. Like, you know, a friend of mine sent me uh, a video. Tim Dillon sent me this video of these schizophrenics in downtown L.A. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. There's so many of them. And these, these, all these different people are walking on the street just screaming at people who aren't there and just yelling into the sky. I had my old place in Dallas. I, I had a guy, I call him Richie. I don't really know his name. I just call him that because he likes to stand outside my door and just have loud conversations with himself. <laughs> like he would do, it wasn't like, like all the time. Yeah. But it'd be like once every like three or four months, and he would just be standing. I don't know why he picked my door to do it. I don't know. I never engaged with them or interacted with them. I would just hear him out open window. I'm like there goes Richie. Um, but yeah, yeah the, the mind is so weird. It is. You know, it's it's like just the fact that a human being forget about under the state of marijuana, PCP, whatever. Just the fact that there's something if you've never stabbed any before, anyone before. There's <laughs> something that someone can give you that makes you that can motivate you to do that. Where you've never done that before, you never stabbed anybody. And then all of a sudden, you stab some guy you've been dating 108 times. The mind is just so weird. Yeah. 